Have you subscribed yet? Today, I'm going to be recording a wash and go video. Um, I, I already co-washed my hair and I, I have already done this on my hair before. Let me wrap my towel. Um, but when I did it on my hair, it was on dirty hair. So I wanted to do it on semi-clean hair. So that's what I'm going to be doing today. Using this. Um, this is going to be the... I'm really trying to see how my wash and go will look with incorporating a styling or foaming lotion. So I'm going to be using this. And um, I'm also going to be using my moisturizing leave-in conditioner by Care Care, the Curl Essence one. If you haven't seen my video um, on the wash and go using um, the other products from this line, I'll link it in the card above. So you can click on that video to see my wash and go that I did with the, these products. And I'm also going to be using... Um, I think I have, I don't know if it's this for my whole head. I'll just be using the Argan Oil Eco Style Gel. So, yeah. So, I'm going to take this out. My Like I said, my hair is already co-washed. So, this is what it's looking like. And I'm going to... Section. I just watched my braces, getting my braces vlog. I'll link that above as well if you haven't seen that. But for the people that have watched that, you know that I got braces um, a little shorter than a month. Next week on the 17th, well, next Friday will make a month. Let me take this off. Next Friday will make a month that I had my braces. And I wanted to wait to try to do a braces update um, until I reached a month. But, like I said, I don't want you guys just watching me do my hair. I want to talk to you guys. So, I'm going to tell you what happened. Oh, okay. Like I said, I got my braces on the 17th of April. Um. I only got my top braces because my bite was so bad that my orthodontist wanted to correct my bite before he placed my bottom braces on so that I won't knock the, my bottom braces off. So that's why I'm talking with a list because I have a bite clip in right now. Okay, so I got that done. I'm going to spray my hair with a little water. I got that done and um, like I said on the 17th, and I had to go back um, on the 29th of April because when I got my braces, they were only able to attach one ring to, to my tooth and I needed two, so I had to have spacers or whatever um, to space out the other tooth that didn't get a ring. So, I got that done or whatever. And I didn't take my camera because first I'm going in with the leave-in moisturizing conditioner. I didn't take my camera because I thought I was just going to get the ring put on my tooth. Okay. So I get to there and um, I'm in the chair and they couldn't get the ring on my tooth or whatever. And so I, they put spaces back in my mouth for like maybe an hour or so while they adjusted my um, bracket and glued that back on because I had broke a bracket as well and um, or whatever. So, um, yeah, so they took my wires out, placed my bracket back on um, and all that. So, I was thinking, you know, that, like I said, I was just going to get a ring. So, I was waiting for my teeth to space out so that they could put the ring on. And they finally got it on or whatever after like an hour. And I was so surprised because I didn't think that, um, I didn't think that your teeth moved that much. But 
the assistant was telling me that like I teeth the move like all throughout the day, like when we suck up, suck up through a straw at night, and sometimes I can feel my teeth move at night. So yeah, so um, it had separated enough for her to put the ring on, and um, she got the ring on or whatever, and she gave it a little wheel to start uh, choosing my color. So now I'm going in with the foamy lotion. She changed. She gave me the wheel to start choosing my color for my braces because I said next time I went to the or the dentist I was going to get blue. Well, after my orthodontist came in there, because he found some spaces in between my teeth, because my top teeth are so crowded that um, he wanted some space for my teeth to move. So he drilled some spaces in between, like maybe two or three teeth. And so he left out, and I was like, I think I'm, I think I'm gonna get blue. And she was like, Well, you're getting a power train today. I said, A power train? get a ring not a power chain okay <gasps> and it freaking hurts okay that is nothing to play with but yeah so that's why if you notice that i have a power chain that's why because i got a power chain on the 29th that's not a big braces update but it's an update um so yeah so i go back on june the 10th for my six week update so hopefully i can remember to take my camera so that i can show you guys what i'll be doing in that appointment so next i'll be going in with the jelly curls pure oils uh gel and this has a light hold i'm gonna have to buy some more of this gel because i really like it and so i'm just going to Add that to my hair. May you come close this door? So, like, my braces, I'm really glad that I got them because I needed them for so long. Um, I would say that I never was insecure about my teeth, but I just knew that I needed to correct them. Um, so many times I went through the process to get them corrected, and, like, right when it got close to me getting braces, my mama just was irresponsible, okay? Well, I wouldn't say irresponsible. She felt like that, I guess, wasn't a priority. So, I don't know. I always said that I was going to get braces, and I even put it off myself. But, um, I had went to the dentist for my cleaning, and he was telling me because my, my bite was so bad that, um, I'm going to need braces, which I already knew, but he was saying that my teeth are crossing so badly that um, eventually, if I don't get braces, my bottom tooth will fall out because my front teeth were pushing my bottom tooth down here forward. So it was be becoming loose. And that's all he had to say. Because I can't be walking around without, without, without a tooth at the bottom of my mouth. And, no ma'am. No. Give me crooked teeth, but not missing teeth, okay? Especially in the front. So, that's what really got me, um, really started to go ahead and get them. Because, mm, no, I'm not going to be that girl. Um, but yeah, see, look, this is really defining my curls. I believe the foam and lotion 
is uh, really defining my curl. So hopefully this turns out pretty well, better than before. Cause like I said, I did no dirty hair before. So yeah. And this will get your hair a little cracked. So if you don't like cracks, this might not be for you. No, I'm just kidding. But if you don't like crunch, you could just, after it dries, you could just um, scrunch it out with an oil and you'll be fine. So, but if you guys want a separate video on why I got braces and how much it costs and all that, you can just leave me. Um, a comment in the comment box below letting me know that that's something that you'll be interested in because I don't mind sharing that um, I know a lot of people you know are on the way to getting braces or on the journey of getting braces and it's really a investment in yourself um, and it's really a good investment in yourself because it's it's not going to do anything to hurt you. It's only to help and make you look even even better. So, um, yeah, I do a separate video if that's something that you guys are interested in. I don't mind at all. I um, sorry if I'm rambling, but I we'll be uploading a um makeup video soon i have been really lazy with um, i have been really lazy with not doing my makeup you know not cleaning my brushes and i need to do better so i'll be having a makeup video in the works soon so all my makeup subbies don't give up on me just yet. Okay. It will be coming. And I'm using a, a moisturizing conditioner because I just want my hair to have some moisture and it won't be dry because sometimes, depending on the foam lotion, it can dry your hair. I don't recommend using the formal lotion by, by itself. So, going in with a good moisturizing conditioner. Getting a little slim to nine is gel. Girl. I should have went to the store. Or in this. Or like right behind me. So, um. I'm sorry if you guys hear them.
so I finished my hair and it's looking real moisturized in the thing, okay? So I'm gonna let my hair air dry. Um and I'll come back and show you guys how my hair looks when it's dry. This is how my hair turned out with the foaming lotion. Um, I really like it. It's really defined. Um, I already crunched my hair out with some oil. So, yeah, this is how I'm looking. Um, the way that I use the foam lotion is I use my leave-in first, the foam lotion, and then a gel. And I just let it air dry, um, because I didn't want to send it to dry it and get any frizziness. But yeah, so I didn't stretch out my hair or anything like that. So this is how my hair dried. Um, if you guys like this video, please give me a thumbs up. And I will see you guys in another video. Bye.